With this event in Geneva, the United Arab Emirates presence is notable. They are one of the key sponsors this year, the gold strategic partner. And from the delegation, I have now Mr. Mohamed Al Khamis. You're the head of the Smart Government National Plan. Thanks for being with us this afternoon. So, how many of you are there here? Well, we've been part of this delegation here today, uh, this year, within the United Arab Emirates. Uh, we came in with a very high delegate, around 20 individuals attending the, the WSIS 2014. We've always believed in the WSIS, and uh, the process, and in the, uh, the achievements that WSIS can bring. Uh, UAE has always been supporter to the WSIS uh, action line and it's the whole process we've been. Uh, our participation uh, has increased year by year. Um, we've been a strategic partner here within the WSIS since 2011. And this year we are a gold uh, uh, partner within the WSIS. And we're here with a large delegation uh, representing different uh, entities within the UAE. Uh, different functionalities with very interesting initiatives to showcase. Um, hopefully it's going to be a very interesting um, uh, WSIS 2014 here for the UAE as well. Because as far as e-government goes, you're already pretty advanced on that, but you've got some pretty big plans, I think, for the future. Well, with, I mean, as everyone knows, the His Highness Sheikh Mohammed uh, Bar Rashid Al Maktoum has uh, last year in May 2013 have announced the Smart Government uh, uh, Initiative. Uh, which basically transformed the UAE e-government to a more advanced uh, um, uh, mobile government, I would call it. Uh, basically, it's a government that provides services uh, over the clock, so 365 a year, uh, days a year, and anywhere and anytime. So it's a very interesting concept that designers has released uh, and announced. Uh, it's a challenging uh, initiative. We've been working over the clock with all the stakeholders within the UAE to try to achieve that goal. Uh, trying to bring, bring more innovation, more personalized services to the customer. Um, the idea is uh, for the government to approach its customers in providing its services, to be predictive, intelligent, and um, not to wait for the customer to come and approach the, the government. So it's been a very, you know, uh, it's a different mindset, a different uh, approach altogether. Correct approach. Absolutely. Um, since, the, since the announcement, uh, we have engaged with the stakeholders. Um, within within the, the UAE, the TRA has led the the uh, the M government uh, initiative with uh, in, co in collaboration with the Prime Minister Office. So we've released the first uh, M government guideline, which aimed to assist the government agencies in classifying its services. Um, the idea was to to choose quality. Uh, and which service should go on a mobile device or a smart device uh, rather than transform all the services. Um, we have, you know, we've been uh, very successful in that exercise. We have, we have a very good uh, um, uh, stakeholder base uh, who are on board, who are willing to transform and reach the vision. Um, we've also released the, the roadmap, which basically uh, lists down various initiatives uh, that will aid the UAE government to transform to uh, a mobile government or smart government. And how far away are you from that vision? Uh, His Highness has given us a very aggressive deadline, uh, which was a two-year deadline. Since 2000, May 2013 was their announcement, and uh, basically May 2015 is the deadline to, to achieve our goals. Uh, definitely, we have progressed very well. Uh, today, as we speak, we have various uh, government uh, uh, applications or e-government um, services which are available over a mobile device. So that's a big achievement. However, we're working over the clock to, to actually integrate services together uh, because we believe that once services are integrated, uh, it will bring more value and more impact to our customers. Great. That's brilliant. Thank you very much. Thank you.